This next combo is your Prismacolor Black, Prismacolor White, uh, your White Uniball Signo Gel Pen, your Copic W5, uh, W8, and W2. So the trick to this is to take your Warm Gray number two and do your search with it. We'll do like a uh, Uh, we'll do a garden gnome, kind of a cone. Like a garden gnome's little hat. Be kind of silly with it. So the number two is just going to kind of disappear. Um, which is kind of nice. So this is what you're going to do all your all your subtle work with. And you can do all your searching and finding. Again, find your shadow core here. Make your shadow core wrap around everything. And that's it for the W2 um, for now. We'll blend with that later. So one of the things that you can always do is make yourself a little value scale. And just figure out how dark everything is. You got your tone, um, and your W2 is very close to the paper tone. Starts darker. You've got your um, this is the W5. It's just a good general for like your. Half tone. Your W8 is real dark. It's close to black, but it's not black. Generally pretty awesome. You've got your white. With Prismacolor. Got your Prismacolor black. And then you got your Uniball Signo just on the other end for your super bright highlight white. This is like your secret samurai sword. Only pull out, pull it out when absolutely necessary. So here, you can take your W5, the chisel point, go ahead and start finding out where that shadow core is gonna be. And you can run it across all of the shapes that you created. You can run right to the outer contour without harming anything. I find it helps to be pretty loose with this. If you want to do a little transitionary tone out of the core, you can use the W2 later. But next you need to get that like that deep shadow core in there. So you switch to the, the eight. Be kind of sketchy with this if you want. Let it kind of transition out. Then you can take go back to your two and you can kind of do some transition into the lights here. And you can actually create a little bit of a little bit of a turn on some of the edges. You want to turn the edge for the actual hat too. Then you can come in with your prisma colors and go to town. So first you probably want to find your actual contours of everything. 
And you might have a preference for how you do the contours. I kind of always start them with like a very similar um, value around the contour. And then I modify them as I go. I'll probably get a little heavy here. Get heavy in certain points. Here I can create some cast shadows down here. Help things kind of turn in space. Can even do some like a little bit of like rendering, deepening up the shadow core if I want. Start to unify everything. Do some transition work. Super fun. And I can take the white. I can go back and pull out my highlight areas. Pull out a big highlight area out here. After this, I can kind of like go into textures or whatever and mess with it further. And then at the end, you know, if I want to throw in some highlights, say it's like a shiny hat or something like that, I can throw in with the Signo. Get things really going. You know, if I need to, I can, I can use this Prismacolor to kind of like break up that harsh line a little bit. And you know, you, you might be able to get away with going some going back with some of the marker on top of the Prismacolor. Generally speaking, I I don't necessarily do that. Um, I'll work on the Prismacolor a little bit longer. But this is another fun one, super powerful. Um, you can use it for a variety of things. And this is just a quick demo of the of the combo. You know, it's not really about the rendering of the particular object. You know, we can take that much further and use more complicated objects, but um, this one's kind of like a good one and a fun one and one to have in your back pocket um, when you want to do some quick but evolved uh, drawings.